Hi, it's Crafty Patty here. Today I am going to show you how to knit the easiest cow ever. It's just knit one and purl one. That's all you have to do. And we're going to use one big ball of wool and two big needles. And we're going to end up with a beautiful, gorgeous cow. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. When I knit, I like to take the wool from the inside of the ball because then when you're knitting, the ball doesn't flop around and the wool just comes right out from the center. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make a slip knot. Just go over two fingers, come around, you can make a cross, and then your wool is going to come in between the strands of wool. Let go of your fingers. And pull down and that's forming your slip knot and take your needle and then if you just pull up on your strands you'll see that it will tighten for you there you've made your slip knot so we're going to wrap around and then bring it to the back and pull it forward. We're gonna come into the stitch on the right, wrap around, bring your needle down and pull through. Again. And that's how we cast on our stitches. We were going to be casting on 30 stitches. So keep going. So I've gone back and I've counted my stitches and right now I have 27 on the needle. We want to have 30. So here's 28. 29 and 30 we can just come in and just slip it off the needle so here's our here's our first knit stitch and now we'll come off the needle now we're going to bring the wool forward to start our purl stitch, coming into the front of the stitch, yarn over, and let that one come off. Then bring your yarn back again to form your next knit stitch. Here's your knit, pull around, and slip that off. Back to wool forward for the purl into the front of the stitch, wrap around, and bring that stitch off. And continue that to the end of your row. And I'm on my last two stitches so my next stitch is a knit and my last stitch on our rows will always be a purl there's our last purl and we should have 30 stitches still and we'll just turn this over now and now we will start our next row we ended on the purl so we're going to start on the knit. In every row you will always start with the knit 
stitch. Continue knitting until you've used up your whole ball of wool, just with a little bit left over. I knit 41 inches in total. Because my ball of yarn started with the more teal and a bit of purple, I am going to end in the same color. So when I join my piece together, it will be the same color wool. This is the amount of wool that I had left in the ball. Not too much. I probably could have knit a few more rows, but I'm going to end here. And then I will have lots of yarn to do my cast off and sewing up my two edges together in the same color. And cut that off and I'll have lots for my cast off and for sewing up. We're going to knit the first two stitches Now we've got two stitches on the right needle. We're going to take our needle and place it into that first stitch that we knit. And we're going to bring it up and over that second stitch we knit. And then bring it down and we're going to slide that one off the left needle. And do that again. Knit the next stitch. Now insert your needle into that first stitch. I'm going to bring it up and over the second stitch. Needle comes down and the wool comes off. One more time. Knit the next stitch. And again. Reach your needle, bring it over that second stitch, and when you're doing your cast off, try and do a looser cast off because you want it to match up with the other end. And as I'm doing my cast off, when I insert my needle, my finger automatically comes back. I'm holding the yarn on the back side to secure this one so we don't lose that stitch off the end of the needle. So I'm holding it down and then that helps to keep this stitch on the needle. So continue until you've actually done all your cast off and you've got your last stitch on the needle. And here's my last cast off. And you have one stitch left on your right needle. And so then all you have to do now is just bring this up and let the wool come right through. Now we're going to bring our other end up to our cast off edge and Match them up so they're sitting evenly together. So find the end of your yarn, bring it over your needle, pull down tight, slide it off, and bring it through the eye of the needle. As my wool is attached to this side. I'm going to come into my first ridge on this side on the end. And I've come out on the top side. I'm going to come back to the front here. 
grab my next little knob and go into the other side that matches. Don't pull too tight, but just enough to hold them together. There's the, the knob I went into there. You can see it right there. So I'm going to come into this one and go across, directly across to the other side. And into this one, and directly across. Now, because this, the knit, we knitted with very, very large needles, you might have some areas that have got a really, really large gap. So in that case, I'm going to come in just slightly below, so it doesn't leave a hole. And as you work along, just make sure that you're still evened out. So when you get to the other end, you don't have like one part way further out than the other. You want to make sure it's even all the way along while you're stitching. And keep going across. And we're almost at the end here and uh, we're matching up really nicely so we've got both ends coming together so we've got even sides and we'll just finish up my last couple stitches here and just so the and it's nice and secure and I'm just going to come through one more time but don't pull all the way through leave a little loop and then bring your needle through that loop and that will help to add a little bit more of a knot on the end and now we're just going to tie in our end so just come back in and weave your thread back and forth through some of your knitted stitches. And now come back the other way just to make sure that little end is nice and secure. cut off your end of wool. And this is the end that we started with when we first did our 30 cast on stitches. So we'll just thread that. And we'll tuck that end, end in as well. And here's the beautiful cowl all finished and knitted and oh that's so cozy I do really like this and look pop it over if you want to go outside you can put it up on your head keep your ears warm keep your neck warm and away you go or just use it as a regular cowl how about inside got some cold shoulders you just want to keep your shoulders warm then just use it as a nice snuggly blanket and cozy up on the couch so many ways to use a beautiful cow like this i hope you enjoyed the video stay tuned for more